Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see how to check the element quality in HyperMesh. Uh, so what's the significance of element quality? So if the element uh, elements that you have created, the mesh that you have created, if it's not of proper quality, so during runtime when you feed the model to the solver, the solver might not be able to solve the model, and it might throw uh, some error. So to check the element quality if it's up to the standard we can go to tools and go to check elements and then we have different options here 1d 2d 3d so for example if we go to 2d we have different quality check parameters such as warpage aspect skew chord deviation jacobian length etc so if i click on warpage as you can see here at the bottom left side of the window you can see 0 of 662 failed so you will get message like that for suppose if i click on aspect 0 have failed skew also 0 have failed jacobian i am getting 48 out of 662 have failed so how it has failed the minimum jacobian is 0 0.58 and i have given the jacobian minimum jacobian requirement as 0 0.7 so whatever is less than 0 0.7 it's showing as failing the minimum out of that is 0.58 uh, these values just in case if you are imagining how do we get these values so these values are generally provided by customer or these are some predefined values uh, defined which are taken by the uh, R&D department analysis department what they use so as you can see the failing elements are highlighted in this window in gray color as you can see these are the elements failing in jacobian these are the 2d elements okay so suppose we go to 3d elements now we'll see how it does so we'll check the war page for the 3d elements so zero have failed same way aspect skew so we have some elements failing in skew 3d elements so one way to see those elements is you can click on save failed here and then you can go to mask and then you can select from your retrieve then you can mask them and then you can reverse so as you can see here this tiny yellow 3d elements are failing in skew okay so the other things which are available here for checking element quality in 3d are tet collapse which is basically for tetra elements then we have the jacobian for 3d elements so this is how you can check the quality parameters for 1d 2d and 3d elements thank you